Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get notifications sent to you when new videos come out. Don't speak English? Well, there's an option for you too. Scroll down and click on CC to turn on subtitles. Then click on the gear icon next to it. Scroll down to subtitles and click on auto translate. And as you can see, a list of multiple languages will show up. Here in this example, I've chosen Spanish. So no matter what language you speak, you'll be able to watch and enjoy my videos. Hey guys, it's K7. Welcome to all of my new subscribers and thank you very much. I truly do appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be bringing you another CMU emulator update. I know it's been a while since I've been able to put these videos out, but I was having problems working on the emulator and I could not get it working up until recently. So now I have it working. So this will be a new update for the CMU emulator and getting most games working because it's not everything just yet. I haven't sorted out getting all the games working, but I am working on that. But most of them will run on this and it will work. So if you're having problems with your CMU emulator, stay tuned. And also, I'm going to show you how to set it up. First thing you want to do is go to the download links in the description and download it. This is the emulator that I've set up. It also has some working keys in there. I don't have all of the title keys, but you can go through the keys and it's already in there. And the black screen fix setup is there also. Now this doesn't fix all games, but it does fix some. It fixed Super Mario Bros. U and a few other titles. So just keep this in mind. So the black screen fix is not fully sorted out, but it is fixed to an extent with some games. It doesn't work with all games. So you can go to download that down in the links in the description. Once you download it, you want to open it. Wherever you placed it, desktop, the documents, wherever you've placed it, you want to then just open it. Once you open it, you'll get a window like this. You're gonna see some options at the top. You're gonna to click on the CPU and then you're gonna make sure that it's on fast. Once you've done that, you're all set. If it wasn't on fast, you can put it on fast. So once again, once you've done that, you want to go over to your options menu and then click on input settings so we can go over to setting up your controls for the CMU Wii U emulator. So as you can see here, we have the controller set up. So there's the top drop down box. At the top, you're going to select what controller you'd like to use as far as the Wii U controls are concerned. And then you want to select a setup controller. And as you can see here, I've chosen the Wii U Pro controller. And also I've chosen my Xbox 360 controller as a usable controller on my PC to use with this emulator. So the only thing you need to do once you've set what type of controllers you want to use, you just go click over onto one of the button configurations and then just set your controls. So as you can see, it was already set, so it didn't change anything, but you just go through, set your buttons, and then make sure you save the configuration once you close it. And then you're pretty much done. You can close this window. So now, what we're going to be doing is starting the emulator up so we can get games running on it and get it playing games. 
So we want to locate a game that we'd like to play. Wherever you place games, you can place them in the documents folder, you can place them on the desktop, you can place them wherever, but wherever you have games, that's where you want to place them, and then you can search for them and then load them up. So we're going to search for a game and we'll see if it's running. So for this example, let's search for Super Mario 3D World. So as you can see it's running and it's running pretty smoothly also. The controls are set. As you can see it's working just fine. You don't hear any music or anything because I don't have music on, but it is playing music, sound is coming out of it, and it works just fine. So this is just a test showing you that the emulator works. So you shouldn't have any more problems when playing CMU emulator games from now on, at least with using this emulator. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this out, and then I'm going to show you some available games that are working with gameplay right now on the CMU emulator. So keep in mind, these are all games that I have. I haven't tested more games on there. I do know that Super Smash Brothers, at least the copy that I have, doesn't work right now. Maybe I have to find another one that does, but I do know that the emulator works. As you can see here, I'm gonna show you guys a list of games I have and show you that they are all working on this current version of the emulator with keys that are already installed. If you have a game that doesn't have the keys to it, that are not already in this copy of the CMU emulator, then you have to get them elsewhere. But I've done enough talking, it's working. Let's show you some games that are currently working right now. that just about does it for gameplay these are all the games so far that I have and are working I did not add Zelda Breath of the Wild because I couldn't get it working in this video but it does work so you don't have to worry about that if you can get it running on yours it will run on this emulator also keep in mind that if you don't have a decent processor CPU the games will not run well you need at least an i5 or an i7 processor in order to get gameplay speed specifications out of this emulator so keep this in mind so as you saw all the games that were running and shown here are playable on this emulator I do have most of the keys there so it's already in the emulator so you don't have to worry about that Xenoblade runs on this also you might have to get the keys I couldn't get it running adding it to the list Super Smash Brothers I do have but it doesn't run maybe I don't have the right keys but it does run on this emulator so if you can find the right keys for it then you can get it running on here also so that just pretty much wraps it up for this video I hope it helped you guys if you have any questions leave those comments down below I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button I want to try to get a hundred likes for this video and 
I'll see you guys next time. Have fun playing your new Simu emulator without as many crashes as you would normally get when trying to run your Simu emulator. Okay guys, take care. Later. Hey guys, it's me, K7. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and hit the notification bell for more videos like these. Okay guys, I'll see you guys next time. Later.